time to kick up his feet, time to chill, relax, enjoy his birthday. They locked up the one seed in the NFC. And you, my friend, you deserve it. Uh, a wide out for the Niners All-Pro. Debo, you can't stop breaking records. Are you trying to do this every week? Hey, um, this was, um, I had told Kyle early in the week that I needed like six yards to, to kind of break, um, break a record and be the second player in NFL history to do it. And um, he was like, yeah, man, I'll be sure that we get that done. And so um, <laughs> kind of nice of him for him to call a play for me to get it done. For it's sure. very nice. I'm loving the Kyle and Devo friendship here. Three scrimmage touches in last week's game. You break. This is the record, by the way. You pass the 1,000 rush yard mark in your NFL career. You join Hall of Famer Charlie Taylor as the only two players in NFL history to reach that many rushing yards and 4,000 plus receiving yards in just five seasons. Uh, I'm sure it feels amazing. And now, how amazing is it that you get to rest up a little bit? Oh, it's amazing. Um, you know, we get to kick your feet up and get to watch all the other teams play this week and see who we end up playing and kind of get a head start of everybody. You know, um, we off today and tomorrow and hit the ground running on Thursday and Friday with practice. Yeah, you played last week uh, to keep things fresh, and now, I, now I've now i learned to get that record, which I love. Uh, what did you make of Sam Darnold out there against a division rival? Size him up. Man, you know, um, been through camp and everything with Sam, man. The man can sling it. The man poised in the pocket, and, you know, he can make every throw out there. And just um, sadly, we just fell short with, you know, the ball kind of, well, the helmet kind of hitting the ball because I think he was going to go down there and, you know, put his drive together and put us in the position to win the game. Yeah, it's very nice to have a, a backup like Sam Darnold out there on that team going into this. Uh, you're resting. The, the season's over, 18 wild weeks. Listen, the Golden Globes were just this week, and I thought we could give away some awards to your to your teammates in your locker room. So let's get in on the fun. I'm going to give you a category, and you tell me who on your team would win it. Um, best game day entrances. What does that mean? Like clothes? Outfit. Vibe. Uh... I don't know. I kind of be showing up a little bit late, so I'm, I'm going to take myself. I'm going to take myself with this. <laughs> Are you the last one? Everybody's in their uniforms and you're walking in? No, 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 no. I ain't that late. You know, um, I, I get here like right on time where they say players supposed to be in the locker room by like 1025. I'm walking in at 1025. <laughs> 1025. I love it. We're going to go with you. I thought you'd name yourself for that one. Who's most likely to eventually have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Who's got Who's got Hollywood vibes? Um, We got three of those. <laughs> We got, uh, we got, oh man. Uh, I'm gonna go with Brock Purdy, Christian McCaffrey, and Trent. Wow, a three way tie. Three stars. We love it. All right, I'll, I'll let you do that. I'm a, I am a little surprised you're picking Brock Purdy for that. Yeah, for sure. Why? He's a superstar. superstar. Just like be, as a play, like as a personality? Like, could he be in, like, in a movie? Is he, is he a joke yeah, teller? Yeah, for sure. Brock can definitely play in a movie. I have not. I, I gotta see this. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Who's the biggest hype man? Oh, uh, the biggest hype man. After eighteen you know. weeks. Who? Mm, I'm gonna go with Brandon Ayuk with this one. Brandon Ayuk. Okay, one of the yeah. top receivers. You're the other one. I love that. Uh, best advice giver. Uh, Trent Williams. Worst advice giver. Um, Juwan Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the best snacks? Uh, well, I would say Ronnie Bell because he's in charge of buying all the receiver snacks and putting them in the room. Love that. Messiest locker. Messiest space. Hmm. I seen the messy locker the other day. I'm going to go with Demo on this one. <laughs> and MVP. <laughs> uh, Brock Purdy, Christian McCaffrey, two-way tie. Two-way tie between Christian McCaffrey and Brock Purdy. We love it. Um, okay, now let's get into some of this. You've never had the number one pick. I remember, I remember seeing you on the sideline of that Super Bowl in Miami. This was a long time ago. 2019, you were a rookie. How different does it feel? How different is, do you feel right now going into this playoff situation than you did as a rookie? Um, I feel like as a team, as a player, you know, I feel like we're better. We've grown. We know what it felt like to be in that position to lose, and... You know, I'm um, kind of getting the number one seed after the game, and I'm just in the locker room, and I'm just talking to the guys that was here in 2019. I said, bro, this kind of feel exactly the same besides the fact that, you know, we had to tackle it out on the NGR line. It was kind of like watching somebody else lose and locking up the number one seed and still going out there and having to win. So um, it just feel crazy. It just kind of made me reminisce a little bit of, you know, what happened that caused us to lose the game and, what we did to win those two games to get there. And so, you know, we kind of, 
Got to stay above water, man. Got to take it day by day and game by game. And when you look at the schedule for this weekend, I mean, you're just you're just you're going to be like like me. You're going to be like the rest of us, just on your couch, maybe watching these games. Is there a game here that you're most looking forward to seeing this weekend? I'm not going to lie. I feel like all these games are going to be a pretty good game, so I'll definitely be tuned in to all of them. You're gonna, um, more yeah. focus, more focus on the outside because those are the guys that we'll be playing first, um, for sure. But uh, I think all these games could be a pretty good game. Yeah, you've played seven of these teams. You've played seven of the remaining playoff teams. You've got the Rams, the Eagles, the Bucks, the Cowboys, the Browns, and of course the Ravens, who also weren't playing uh, this week. So there's a lot of teams. I wanted to get through them. Let's do wild card in one word. I want to go through these teams and in just one word describe what you think about these squads. Let's start with the seven seed in the NFC Packers. What's one word? Um, sneaky. Um, got some very explosive players on the offense. No, uh, Rams, six seed. Um, it's a scary team right now. Um, I think they won six of the last seven um, and fell short from the Ravens um, on a punt return, but they played a good game with them as well. Rams are scary. Packers are sneaky. Five-seed Eagles are... <sighs> I don't know. It's kind of hard to say because, you know, um, everybody's zero and zero right now. You know, they started off hot and... I think, you know, every team hit a little slump. It's, if, it's, it's all about can you bounce back and get up out of it. Are you surprised they're here? Um, not surprised at all. Yeah. You guys going to make playoffs. Number four seed, Buccaneers. Uh, physical, for sure. And you, and you played them. We're, we're going to yeah. get into that. Uh, three seed, Lions. Um, <laughs> explosive offense. Cowboys. Um, playing really good ball right now. Steelers. Very physical and sneaky. <laughs> Dolphins. Um, really explosive offense for sure. Browns. Man, that defense, something else. That defense for real. Joe Flacco balling right now too. <laughs> Texans. Man. Ooh, I'm trying to see how I could describe these boys right here. Uh, I say they're a little sneaky, and they, they offense is very explosive as well. They got Bobby Slow again to me go over there. What the world? Chiefs. Ashley, what are you doing? Huh? Chiefs. Um... They, they, can, they, they. You know, I, I wouldn't consider them sneaky because they always at the at yeah. the top when it's all said and done. So I mean, hey man, you just got to be prepared for anything with those guys. Last one, Bills. Um, think about the Bills. You never know what they what you're going to get from them, but they're a really good team. They can be. I feel like that game Sunday night was yeah, wild. Sure. So this week you get the lowest seed, the lowest seed winner in the divisional. That's who you're looking at. So looking at that Bucks Eagles game, you played both of those teams this season. When you, when you was, were watching, the, you were playing during the Eagles game, but when you heard that your boy A.J. Brown went down against the Giants, what were you thinking? Oh, um, first thing I did in the locker room, after, you know, talk, uh, Kyle talking to the team and bringing the team down, I instantly called him. Mm -hmm. And, um, he probably was doing something. He didn't call me back until I got in the car. Um, but um, I think he'll be all right. Um, I talked to him. He was in high spirits. You know, AJ is never a, a down guy or whatever. And so um, he'll probably call me later on this week and let me know how he's feeling. But I definitely was worried about what had happened. And now the Bucks on the other side, they lost to you. And then they turned it around. But when you played them, they were going through it. I'm sur Not that I'm surprised to see them here. And you said that they're super physical. Was there something that you saw when you played them that makes you not surprised that they're in this? Nah, for sure. Um, you know, uh, I don't know why, you know, so many people was down on like Baker Mayfield, but the mm -hmm. guy can really throw it. He's a very poised quarterback. And you got, you know what I'm saying, Mike Evans out there who is an outstanding wide receiver. And uh, they're running back coming along pretty well. And, you know, um, they got Devin White in the guys and the safety out there just flying around. So I'm really not surprised that they're here right now. Cowboys, Packers, Jerry World Sunday, Dallas plays better at home. You're talking about quarterbacks giving them love. You've got a quarterback who doesn't get enough love. You just said something nice about Baker Mayfield. Are you a Jordan Love guy? Man, he the man got an arm. The man got. <laughs> I think he was. I think he did a good job of watching A. Rod flick their wrist and throw the ball <laughs> downfield and and be accurate for sure. 
And on the other end, you know, you got Dak and CD, man. You know, CD playing at the top of his game right now, which is, you know what I'm saying, it's good for him, and Dak is playing well as well. I wanted to ask you, the question I had was, are you a CD Lamb guy? But I was too scared to ask it because I never oh, know. Cool. Who, cool. I never cool know who you're cool with. Yeah, I'm cool with CD for sure. He at the top of his game right now, the guy balling. So who wins that game? Uh, I, like I said, I, it's, it's the playoffs. Like, you know, everybody knows it's one and done. You never know what you get. Who do you think? Um, I think Cowboys on this one. Yeah, at home. That would be pretty cool. It would be cool to see. Uh, Aaron, if, not if Aaron Jones keeps them off the field, because if Aaron Jones just <laughs> runs out there, then CD can sit and not be out there, but they're not going to win if, this, if they drive the score. If they can't score enough points, I don't think Green Bay can. I want to ask you about Mike McDaniel. You know him well. Uh, oh those God. shots of him on the sideline during the Bills game, it was, it was something. Now, you aren't in that building in Miami, but I, I, can, I can guess you can assume how he's feeling after that loss. What do you think the building is like this week? Oh, man, I, uh, from, from him being here and, you know, with him and Kyle just being so close and knowing, you know, how important the playoffs is right now, I feel like they're going to have a fast and physical practice and. Mike is not tolerating no BS this week. So, I mean, I, 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 I just, me knowing Mike, hey, man, it's all hands on deck right now. Speaking of the Packers, last one for you. Have you seen this Jair Alexander crashing a local uh, news reporter stand up? Have you seen this? No. Uh, Let's take a look. Energy right to Texas. I'm just here to tell you, Pack is back. You heard it from a fan right here. Pack is back. Jair's crazy. I have no comment on that. I have no comment on that. That's, I figured. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't even know what we're doing. Debo, birthday. What do you have in your birthday wish list? Um, I just wanna. I just wanna win. Win game by game and just be at the end of the. Be, be at the end of February. In the middle of February, holding that trophy up. That's the only birthday wish I got right now. That's it, and that's all that you need. Get some rest. Enjoy. Enjoy watching the games like the rest of us. Six, <laughs> lots of lots of junk food. Lots of uh, no exercise. Like that's 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 what the rest of us out there do. Oh no, we exercising for sure. We get it in. That, I mean, I know. I just wanted you to say that so Kyle could hear that you were, <laughs> you were saying that and getting ready. Get some rest. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you uh, down the line, I'm sure. And we're wishing you the best luck. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.